is my second time getting to see you perform. Yeah. Even still here, when I'm getting like this live, very intimate interview performance, I cannot believe what is coming out of this little adorable body of yours. But you are so sassy. <laughs> you say? are talking shit. <laughs> and I love every minute of it. Thank you. You know, oh, we, gee. we can. Okay, sorry guys. If you are just joining us, <laughs> uh, you are watching Hello, My Name Is, and I am in awe. This is our second performer coming to the stage, and y'all are y'all are making it a real hard act to follow every single person that goes up. But you guys know our brand if you watch this show. If you if you can't sing and you can't perform, you have to work on it because we don't do that here. <laughs> We got really? singers and entertainers on this show, and you just proved that. Oh, gee. You're live from the BET Amplified stage. Yeah. You feeling yourself? A little bit. You should be. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> How was that? No, it was insane. I mean, like, I grew up watching BET. Like, I'm from Wisconsin, so, like, BET was where I got to see black people. Absolutely. Period. And so, like, being able to be, like, having that, whoa, let me try that again. Being able to have that kind of cosign mm -hmm. was was beyond. It, it felt really good. You looked incredible up there. You were, it, to be like I said, main stage coming soon. I've called it. Period. I'm a, like Price said, it, it's done already. Period. Like, you're incredible. I saw you at something in the water. That was amazing. Um, you're a performer. You just got off tour. I have to ask, how are you uh, staying present in this moment as, like, I'm watching you quickly, quickly rise, and I'm like, do you get a second to just say, man, this is really, this is really all happening? It's kind of crazy. I mean, like, I have those moments a lot. Um, me and my music director, Jacob Calders, we went to school together, and so we kind of are seeing ourselves kind of rise very quickly, but we always have those moments of, like, yo, wait. How, how? How did this happen? How did we get here? Uh, but we always take those moments of being like, damn, I'm so grateful. Like, this is so insane. And I'm so proud to be, like, here and doing this. Yeah. You know? Like, we can't take it for granted. Okay. And I'm going to just go back because you performed your first song was I Got It. That's the first song that you said you ever put out, mm -hmm. which is insane. Love the meaning behind it. You know? How has it been? Is that something that you learn? excuse me, in the industry? as a black woman that like I said what I said <laughs> I need to say what I have to say and I'm not going to not say it anymore because yeah. this is what it is how did you get that confidence and uh it, it, how has it been living that yeah I mean like it's been something that I've just started to get comfortable with I'm someone who tends to choose words very carefully um just to make sure that my point gets across yeah. but I'm learning to just say like what's here because like if if people mess with me they'll get it they'll understand yep. um and I think a song like that which is so like braggadocious like I think it empowered me to be like you know what I meant that <laughs> like I meant what I said um and I feel like I'm saying it I've said it quietly before but I'm starting to learn to say with more and more confidence as people agree with me, yeah. you know, and start seeing, like taking that message for themselves and getting empowered by it by themselves too. So um, you should be very loud about it. Very, very loud. Um, okay. So that's your first song. So I'm like, damn, she's pretty good. Um, and, then, <laughs> <laughs> and then we have a whole project from you. Yeah. Monologues. Mm -hmm. Tell me about monologues. I, I, I stalk everybody that comes to the show because <laughs> that's what I do. Mm -hmm. And, um, you have a very interesting story about why you chose that name. Mm -hmm. So the reason why is because um, when I was in college, I took this acting class. Um, and with that, I learned that like one of the most important things that an actor takes with them during an audition, an audition are monologues, right? Like they're used to show the breadth of what you can do. Like they usually have like a comedic monologue or a dramatic monologue just to show off like their expression, the, the range. range, the range, the range. And so I kind of took that idea and put it on this project of like, I just got here, right? Like this is kind of my audition into this industry. Cause before that I thought I was going to law school. Like, 
And we are going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It de- like, it still doesn't quite make sense to me. Because that's like recent. A recent. Yeah. Ch- no, we'll go into it. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. But I guess, like, yeah, I think of, like, this EP is, like, this is the range of what I can do right now. Like, I'm just starting it. I'm just, like, revving it up. But, like, this is the range right now. We'll get bigger, but this is where we are. Like, what a way to rev it up. Um, okay. I will just go there because you went there. Okay. You were going to be a lawyer, like full fledged. Tell me what kind first. Um, I was between constitutional law and like, um, like trademark. Okay. Well, one thing I will say is that we needed you in constitutional law. Yeah. Heard that. Okay. Um, but second, I don't know if I would have chosen that over the performance that I just got. So I think you made the right choice. Straight up. I'm, yeah, I'm happy I'm here. Law school would have sucked. Don't regret it at all. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and how, are, how are our parents feeling about this? They're getting it now. Because you are a Nigerian born, are you first I, gen? Uh, I was born in like, like right outside of Chicago. Okay, okay. Yeah. But my somebody said you're from Wisconsin. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am from Wisconsin. Like I grew up there. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But you have Nigerian parents. I do. How'd you how'd you tell them this? So No, I, I, I want you to tell me exactly what you, <laughs> tell me exactly what the call was like or when you sat them down at the table and said, This is what's happening now. So I uh I it was first my mother. Okay. Uh and she was actually visiting, like she was with like her sisters, like going into Chicago, and I was like, Listen, this is what's happening right now. Um this producer named No ID, who she did not know. She didn't know him. Who? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was the vibe. That was what she was giving. And I was like, this person, no ID. He says, I have talent and that I should maybe sing for a living instead of law school. And she immediately was like, what are you talking about? You're, I was in my senior year of college. So I was like, you just finish the job. Just finish it. Go to law school. Get it done. But it wasn't until um, we were all flown out to L.A. to kind of see what was going on that she was like, money. Got it. Okay. So, like, if we do well, money. We good. Yes. Okay. So, ever since then, she was kind of like, all right, this is how you got to go. Like, she's also a very shrewd businesswoman. So, she knows what she's doing. And, like, she's been my biggest supporter ever since. I so, love that. Yeah. And what was her reaction to turning on BET and seeing her daughter <laughs> on stage? She was telling me that, um, well, A, like, she was just, she didn't know what to do with herself. <laughs> it was it was a big moment. But she was telling me that her um, my aunts, her sisters, would be commenting in the video of, like, oh, Look at my knees, look at my knees. And then people would comment under it like, shut up, that's not your niece. They that is not believe they the won't even believe anymore. You exactly. got too big. You're done. You're it's out crazy. of here. <laughs> it's crazy. So like that's where we're at right now, I guess. Okay, so I, I know mom said who, but I, I can't skip over for for our lovely audience here. No ID. A legend. A legend. A man whose name goes in the history books next to Kanye West. How did you get No ID's attention, and how did you know that this was the person that was like, "Yo, this cosign means I need it." Law done. Mm-hmm. If No done. ID says I'm good, I'm good. We gotta go. <laughs> That's yeah. So like, I was my senior year of college, and I had decided that I wanted to make an Instagram account for myself where I would just sing covers of songs that I liked, and I would tag people in it who like sang the the original song. So I did a cover of the song called PJ, I mean called All Right by PJ Morton. He ended up seeing it because I tagged him in it. He liked it and he put it on his page. PJ is active on the gram. Hmm? PJ is very active Period. on the gram. Yeah. <laughs> Not like he, he was like a big part of like why my life is different right now. If it weren't for him, I'd probably be like graduating law school like right now. Shout out to PJ and No ID. Shout out. But don't Shout lose your way. Finish. Yeah. It, 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 tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. <laughs> um, but he saw he posted it on his page, and that got people within the music industry, you know, DMing me saying like, "What's your career looking like?" Et cetera, et cetera. Um, and eventually got to Dion, and he was in Chicago like November 2019, and we we talked, and he was like, "You should move to LA," and I was like. Bed. And so I graduated and then I moved to LA. Wow. Didn't think twice. I love it. 
Mm-hmm. What's your sign? Libra. I have to ask. We get a lot of Libras on this show. Likely. Get out of here. Yeah. We already talked about you. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of Libras in our production yeah. uh, crew. We love they, it. They, I, they make us look good. <laughs> Wait, what's uh, your sign? I'm Aquarius. Period. Period, period, period. Air I thought signs. that you were close because when you said I said what I said and I meant what I said, I was like, mm, she's either Capricorn or Aquarius because that sounds like us. Capricorn rising. See, there you go. There you go. Um, I'm in the chat. If you guys have questions for OG, please ask because we want to know everything. Um, Arab says I can hear in her your roots in your voice speaking and singing. I totally agree. Aura Got Rhythm said you are so brave, awesome, a legend. Still. And... It's just love, 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 love. Okay, you're touring. You've been all around the world. You toured with Snow Allegra, which she is an incredible performer. Incredible. She's been packing out. I, I saw her right before the pandemic and mm. Giveon opened for her. Oh, and wow, yeah. we see where that has gone. So you were just on an incredible tour. What was your favorite part? What's your relationship with your fans? Are they crazy? Do they throw things at you? <laughs> and what was the worst part of it? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, man, I just started. <laughs> like, I um, I mean, obviously, first of all, like, thank you to Snow for that. I will never not be grateful for what she did for me because I had only two songs out when that tour started. So, like, she really put her neck out for me. So, like, I'm grateful. Um, yeah, no, I mean, like, uh, it's interesting to say, like, what my fans are like because... During that tour, I was like first of three. So the people did not know me. They were there for snow. So it was more a matter of just like winning them over and yeah. convincing them like, and OG. OG's cool too. Do you see when they, I want to say transform, when you say, oh, I got them. That's an OG fan now. What is that moment for you? What does that look like when you're in front of those people where you say, I know you're not here for me, but I'm going to make you here for me. Yeah, it's it's kind of wild. Like I think the what's the word the applause at the end always works or actually before I do that like for my last song I would always be like we're at the last song of the set and everybody everybody would be like oh so like I think that's the moment where I'm like all right got him <laughs> <laughs> we're good I love that um what's the what's the biggest lesson that you've learned from that tour the biggest lesson I've learned I think is that like the relationship between the person on stage and the people in the crowd is like cyclical Mm -hmm. in terms of like the energy that we like give off. Like I have to be the conversation starter of like, here's the good music. Here's the energy I want y'all to feel. Here's the joy I want to project to y'all. And then like, we kind of start the cycle that way and like it builds from there. Uh, so yeah, no, it's 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 been really cool to learn that. That's beautiful. I'm like, I can always tell when a songwriter is answering questions. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, that's lovely. Like, <laughs> um, you again, like just I'll, I'll talk about you creatively. Love the last video you just did. You worked with the incredibly talented creator Joelle. So I loved watching all that BTS and you guys having so much fun on set. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen the set before, but you're dressed so appropriately color wise. So it shout works. out to you. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Dominique, the stylist. She knew what she was doing. And you worked with an incredible artist on your artwork. It's so um like it, it draws you in. I'm like, man, like that's that's trippy. Tell me about that and how you were able to connect with that artist. Yeah, Ian Woods, like an, an incredible collagist. I uh, I'd actually been like looking through Instagram for like people that like really like resonated with me, and I think the collages that he did really stuck out. Like, I I love the fact that like he put things together in such an interesting way, and I felt like his collages connected with monologues of that like it's kind of a Frankenstein project like uh, these are songs that I had done in college Mm. before I even thought I was going to be a musician like and it's a lot of different parts of me being like stitched together so I felt like the collage just made sense for the just about to be a lawyer with hot songs and (laughs) we were never going to hear them that's insane (laughs) Uh, you Again, know. Shout, shout out to No ID and, and PJ. We Truly. had a question um, from L Boogie Baby that um, do you plan to collaborate with PJ anytime soon? And who else would you like to work with? Oh, I would love to. I mean, like we've been in the studio, like working on things, and which has been like a really cool full circle moment for me of just like you found me and now we're working together. So like it works. It worked. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm always interested in like working with other people and learning because like the fact is I am new here. Yeah, I don't know quite what's going on yet, so I'm willing to like learn and like build relationships with people who could be mentors who could like kind of show me the way. So. so it's just my third day out here, y'all. I don't <laughs> truly, <laughs> truly. Now, I'm not gonna tell you who said. But somebody asked, could you do a little something for us a cappella? And I'm going to put you on the spot because <laughs> I know that you can't. Yeah. You okay. could probably do it. What are you going to do? you know who said it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who said it. Um, hmm. I don't know. Let's try. Uh, I know your eyes in the morning sun. I feel you touch me in the pouring rain. And the moment that you wander far from me, I want to feel you in my arms again. And you come to me on a summer breeze. Keep me warm in your love and you softly leave. And it's me you need to show how deep is your love. Mm-hmm. You know the song. Thank you. <laughs> Girl, if you would have been a lawyer, I would have been so upset. <laughs> we need that voice. We need it in music and all that talent. Like, I'm Thank so you. in awe of you. Again, like I said, for now, the, the second time. I, the next time, you, when are you going on tour again? Please leave me some tickets at the box office. I'll <laughs> pay for you. them, too. Just, or, or give me a plus one, whatever we got to do. I got and, you. I got you. Um, Don't worry. And, and what, what other music is coming? What can we expect from you? I think everything's going to happen in the fall. Just expect that. That's all I can give you. But I got to say that, like, it will be of quality. I can promise you that. So. I can promise that we believe you. That's what OG, like. you're incredible. Thank you so much for, for blessing us with your presence and for being able to sing a cappella because everybody <laughs> can't do it, okay? Did you hear those runs, guys? Um, you know. You're amazing.